Wearing the broken wig, wig of science! The stack of electricity gets in me, gets in my scalp, gets in the wig, and each fiber of the wig repels all the other fibers because they have a like charge. People have asked me countlessly many times, is that real? Did you really do that? Yeah, everything was real. We did this and many other demonstrations over the course of the day. I got shocked so many times. So I still think about that. I guess I'm still, I'm still shaken or zapped. We have a third generation of students, of kids, watching the show. So I produced a document, a single page, which we gave to everybody who came to work on the show. And at the top of the page, it says, objective, change the world. And I really feel that way, that <clears throat> if we got everybody or enough people excited or under appreciating science, we could make the big changes we need to make. That's my mother. Isn't she styling? This is the, you know, the era of Jackie Kennedy. She got stung by a bee, and this was traumatic. It was very upsetting. And my mother, the same woman shown in this picture, put ammonia on it. Anyway, it, somehow it denatures the venom in the bee sting. And it feels better in just a few moments. But on the bottle of the ammonia is a skull and crossbones. Like, you know, my mother's trying to kill me, kind of thing, which, uh, understandable. It was, I, that was really remarkable for me. I tell people this all the time. She said all the time. Common sense is not that common. <laughs> what seems obvious at the end is not obvious at the beginning. There you go. Academic achievement right there. So this is at Alice Deal Junior High School. Anyway, that was in ninth grade biology class, and I'm still in touch from time to time with Mr. Cross, who was just an outstanding biology teacher. And so I'm keying out insects there. Oh, go ahead and get the A. Go ahead and go for it, man. You're as smart as those other guys and gals. I, I sold myself short. I thought I got enough insects, enough families, order families classified to get at least a B or even this thing, a B plus. But I should have kept going. I could do it. I could do it. And I just didn't believe in myself. Let's explore a vision and look how much younger that guy is. The students that ex participate in Explore a Vision are just amazing. Explore a Vision is sponsored by Toshiba. It's run or administered by the National Science Teachers Association. It's the largest scholarship program in the U.S. And probably the reason it's the largest it starts in kindergarten. You have to come up with an invention, a practical thing that you believe will come into existence in the next 20 years. It's really forward thinking. The reason the Science Guy show was configured or designed or made for people about 10 years old is because we had really compelling research that 10 years old is about as old as you can be to get the so-called lifelong passion for science. Well, what we want for everybody, critic, uh, scientist or not, is this phrase that we're using right now, critical thinking. When I was in school, maybe people called it um, logic or reasoning or critical reasoning or something like that. But we want you to be able to evaluate evidence and uh, to think for yourself and also to respect the process of science, which is how we know all these amazing things about the world. So that's uh, at the March for Science. It was to remind lawmakers how important science is, and the need is, is bigger than ever. Like people are all running around now wanting to invest in basic research. Looking back, what maybe we should have done, maybe, is had clear demands. You know, we demand that the Congress that fund basic research, research. We demand that, climate, that Congress address climate change. But I want you guys, young people, I want you to get out there and address climate change because, you know, people of my age kind of let you down. Uh, there's more carbon dioxide in the air than ever. The world's getting warmer than ever. What's the thing that drives everybody crazy? That's not fair. Well, it's really not fair to have countries pumping carbon dioxide in the air without doing something about it. I want the United States to be a leader 